What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Travis, this is TWA Motorsports, and today we are back on the Yukon. And the main reason I'm doing this part right now is because I have an appointment to get a new windshield. And so I figured, since we were doing a windshield and a lot of stuff has to come off, we might as well knock this stuff out at the same time. So the things that we're going to be doing, guys, is we are going to get rid of this long antenna, and look, it's already loose. Okay, I've got a stack of long antennas garbage i'm not going to do i can't seem to find a, a salvage yard that has this piece like i did on the green truck if you guys go back and look at that video i put the escalade one on here and i rerouted my antenna underneath like in the fender here i'm not going to do that because i can't find one that doesn't mean i won't do it down the road but for now um i'm just going to put a shorter antenna on you know like a little seven inch or whatnot what we did on the on the gray truck but aside from that to get the glass of these trucks there's and look, the glass people will generally do this, but you gotta take this piece off, which is all weathered and looks like crap. So I figured we would put some dressing on it, clean it up, get all the junk out of it, because I can tell, look at all the stuff caked in there. But um, we need to get that off. I told him I would bring it to him like that to make it life a little easier on him. There's pieces on the side here that come off, these trim pieces, I'll probably let him take those off. And then your new glass will come with the, um, a new trim piece up top but this thing has its original gm glass you can see but it's got stars in it that you can see and then there is a huge crack that is so annoying right here in my line of sight hopefully you guys can see that it goes i don't even know that the camera will pick it up but it goes right through here and occasionally i'll catch light it just i hate it so we're gonna be getting that replaced, but look at the top, and this is very common, look at the top of my windshield wipers. So while we're doing all this, right, putting dressing on this, making it look nice again, I'm gonna respray these, so I'm gonna take these off. So today I'm gonna to show you the process, because this is kind of a pain, and you guys will probably see me struggle as well. I'm also going to replace the wiper blades because they're, I just don't like this version. Um, and they'd streak really bad, to be honest with you, when I've driven it in the rain. So. Uh, either way, that's what we're going to tackle today. I'm going to show you guys what's involved. I'm not going to show you guys the glass replacement. I'm literally going to take it to him, drop it off. He's going to replace it, and um, then we will put it all back together all in this video. But the very first thing we need to do, I think, is let's pop the hood, get access to the things that we need, and start taking this apart. Now, starting here in the corner, I'm going to use a, like a plastic pry tool to pop this up um, along the bottom. A lot of times, guys, these are broken, and I can tell you that whatever holds this down, there's supposed to be a piece that holds this down. It is definitely broken, because you can see how much play we have. And normally you can pop that up, but see how there's three tabs, one, two, three. A lot of times those are broken, but there is a little... Uh, I think it's a T15 down here that every one of these I've ever taken apart has been broken. This glass is obviously the factory glass, never been out, so they just wear over time. And so you can see how loose that is. There is a T15 back here in the corner that we need to get out. I'm gonna go ahead and take it out, but it's not gonna be relevant to us getting this loose. Let me go grab a T15 and get that out. We'll go to the other side. It is easiest, and actually guys, I said it was a T15, it's actually, it's a T10, I'm sorry. It's easier to get to with the hood back down. And sometimes the plastic is still here, but it's not on mine. The little piece that's broken off. Just a little screw here that's supposed to hold the ends of this down. So let's go to the other side. In a similar situation over here, the only difference is we already got the antenna out of place. Um, you'll have to have it out. I mean, I guess you could go up the antenna, but this one generally only has two left, but this one still got all three in place. You can see this is seeing better days. This one is actually not broken on this side, which is kind of surprising. See how it's not moving? I'm sure that these uh, glass guys love the fact that I take all this apart, but gives them less 
and sometimes, I, this glass guy I'm going to is different than the one I used on the gray truck, so uh, he's way more careful. I don't have to worry about him breaking anything. Uh, I didn't tell you guys, but my last guy that took my glass out of my gray truck, when he was cutting the old one out, he put a big, long scrape right here and didn't say anything. And I was standing out here when he did it. It's just kind of funny that he would do that. But So I got a good, different glass guy this time. But let's get the hood back up and see what else we need to take off. Now along to the leading edge here, we've got a series of clips. And generally, guys, I use just a flat blade screwdriver to get those out. That's what they look like. There should be four of them at least. A lot of times these rattle loose and come off. Pretty common. Get all three of these off. Okay, that one hit the ground at least. Now we should be loose everywhere. Other than there is one plastic push pin that we can see right here. I don't know if you guys can, well, you won't be able to see it. It's right behind the center of the, if you drew a line almost in the middle, we got to get a pair of um, clip removers to get that guy out. Generally, I start it with this. Sometimes, I think it came all the way out of the truck like that. And then if you're lucky, this will work. Check that out. These are so handy, guys. I know I say that a lot, but. All right, now we need to take our little caps off of our wipers. Man, this is loose. I'm gonna have to address that too. So get the caps off your wipers. These should be a 15 if I remember right. I take that back, they are a 13. So here's what we're gonna do, I'm gonna loosen them. I'm gonna run them up to where there's no stud sticking through. And you'll see in a minute why I do this, but now I'm gonna go ahead and see if we can get this guy unhooked. Which I got. You're also going to have to do the same thing over here. I'm going to take our cap off and then let's run the 15 up a little bit. Here's where it gets really fun, guys. A lot of times, it doesn't want to come loose. So, as you can see, it doesn't want to move, right? So what I do is I take a hammer and I tap that. Now, you don't want to get crazy. Man, I need a new hammer. Hopefully my light doesn't get broken here. Put my hood light on so you guys can see better. So once we do that, I come up here and kind of move back and forth. And it's a uh, delicate dance. Now we'll do it again. Tap on it. while I'm pulling up this time. Now normally you can spray some WD-40 in there, but because I want to paint these, I don't want any of that on there. And so you're gonna go back and forth doing this over and over and over. Now we're loose. I'm sure somebody's probably screaming at the camera saying, don't ever do it this way. But I'm telling you guys, I've done it on every vehicle I've ever had. And as long as you don't beat the crap out of that thing, 
it'll work. So now we just need to get the other wiper out of the way. I'm going to scuff this off camera. Just scuff this up. See that right there? Probably some thousand, maybe even 2000 grit. I'm gonna tape off my windshield wiper squirter and then I'm just gonna shoot this. The other thing, like I said, is I'm going to put new wipers on and I'll show you guys those once we go back together. But yeah, that's, that's all there is to it. So I'm gonna go do the other one. Same situation, loosen it up until you can't, none of the thread is poking through. If the thread's poking through, you risk mushrooming out the end of it and then your nut won't come off. That's why I do that. Now that we got both wipers off, there is one other thing you have to unhook. If you lift this guy up, you're gonna have a connection for your wipers. And so I really wanna pull it off at the closest connection, which is right there. You should just be able to pull it apart. And now this guy should come out. And honestly, guys, I think it's a little easier to probably bring it up through the top I don't know, maybe I'm, maybe I'm kidding myself. It seemed like I had issues getting this thing off on the other one. I'm trying to be careful as I can not to scratch anything, but... place it's not in terrible shape and that's all there is to taking it apart now you can see we've got some foam that's coming off this thing has some tape that's coming off I'm gonna go ahead and take that take that off I don't know if that's probably factory actually but we may put some new foam on it I don't know it's not that imperative. Now that we got that out of the way, I am gonna take the time to, uh, yeah, I'm taking this off. It's all dry rotted. I'll probably get a new piece for that. But it's actually way cleaner than it was on my other truck. But I'm still gonna take the time to knock all that loose, clean that up really well and um, then we'll move over to cleaning the piece that we took off. I've got the wiper blades outside hanging on a tree <laughs> and I painted them with some satin paint, which you guys will see. I just wanted to show you what I'm using. That's what I've used in the past. It seems to hold up really well. So I've got those just scuffed up. I, I just used a Scotch-Brite, scuffed them up and got a coat on them. I'm gonna put another coat, but while those are drying and obviously the windshield isn't getting replaced until tomorrow, but I'm gonna clean this up. So you can see I've got this like makeshift table made out of a couple tires in a box. I'm wanting to get this thing all cleaned up, make it look a lot nicer. And so that's what we are going to do. I don't know whether I may try to pull this trim off. I think I may just try to clean around it like I did on the last truck, but I will set you guys up on a tripod. I'm gonna use uh, three different products. So I'm gonna start with some super clean. I'm gonna go over it, get some of the big stuff, see these big chunks. Maybe some of this. I may have to even go grab my vacuum. Then I'm going to move to my chemical guys like trim cleaner. I'm gonna go over it a coat with that. And then once we do that, we're gonna finish it with some chemical guys trim treatment. And uh, I think I'll let it sit overnight, but I'm gonna time lapse all this. That's why I'm telling you guys ahead of time. So I'll list all the products that I'm using down in the description, but that is what I'm gonna be using. So I didn't wanna bore you guys with cutting in and out. We're just gonna time lapse the whole thing. And then when we're finished, we'll take a look at it and hopefully the glass will be installed, the paint will be dry on the wipers and we'll be able to put it back together.
Well guys, I told you that uh, I was gonna go through three set sessions of the super clean, then the trim cleaner, and then this that I just put on, the gel. And honestly, in these areas where there's mesh, there guys, you would spend days and months with like a toothpick trying to get that out of there so you could see that I got my steam cleaner and I used a pick and was pulling it back and spraying that stuff out. There's a bunch of seeds and um, sticks off of trees. Obviously it's been setting under a tree at some point. So since I used my steam cleaner, I decided to skip the trim cleaning method um, or that section. So I, I still did the super clean all the way down like you saw. And then I did um, some more, I sprayed some more super clean on and blew all this out with my steam cleaner, which cleans it really, really well. It takes all the coating and anything off of it. So then I decided, well, let's just go ahead and put the gel on it. So what I've got right now is I use my brush like you just saw and brush that stuff on. And I put it on really thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this thing set overnight. I'm gonna come out tomorrow and put another coat on it, let it set overnight again. And then hopefully by the third night, we'll come wipe it down a little bit, make it look nice. And then, so the next thing that you guys are going to see will be uh, what it looks like right before I wipe it down. So after the second night of setting, but it, I think it's gonna clean up pretty well. It looks better. Um, are we gonna get it perfect? I don't know. There's some spots that were pretty dried out, like something had been sprayed on it in the past, like brake clean maybe, that's really bad on it. But either way, I did clean both sides. The only way to get all that junk out of that mesh was to flip it over and blow it out from the backside too. So. Let's get, uh, let's get another coat on this and we'll take a look at it right before we wipe it down. This thing has actually been setting now for probably five or six days. So you can see I also got the little plastic clip, the little covers for the license, or the uh, license plate, the wipers. Got all that coated. What I think I'm going to do is I'm gonna go get a towel, but I'm not gonna wipe it down. I'm gonna use the towel to clean off my brush there. And so I'm going to wipe um, the brush off, I'm gonna kind of brush it around a little bit, wipe the brush off, brush it around, and I think that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I just, I want it to stay looking really fresh. I'm afraid using a brand new towel is going to wipe a lot of the stuff off, and these areas that are really hard to get to is gonna be tough. So I think I'm just gonna let nature take its course to dull it up, or a couple washes, and um, kind of see how it goes. Now on the last one I did for the Trans Am, I did wipe it down and it stayed looking good, but there's more spots in this where it was like kind of stained from people spilling stuff on it. And I'm afraid that those are gonna, you know, kind of show back up. But either way, we'll, uh, I won't show you guys this. I won't time lapse this part, but I'll wipe it down with the brush one more time and then let's get it back on the truck. We are ready to go back together. So you can see the new glass and we'll pull back and look at it um, again when we're all finished up. But got it installed. Looks great. The cool thing about getting a new glass on these, like I spoke about earlier, was the top, you get a new piece of trim. So that's nice, because it's generally sun faded. But before we put this back on, I want to put, there was this stuff here, this like rubberized, or not rubber, like foam. I want to go ahead and put that back. And so I've got some just window foam. So that's what I'm going to put there. I'm going to clean this off with some, um, alcohol here so we can clean up that area make sure it sticks good and I'm just gonna go around this now that the trim that I have is probably double in size because it's literally door trim like for a house like to seal off windows and whatnot 
but I could trim it in half, I'm hoping, and make that transition. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I'll show you guys what I'm using, um, but then cut it in half and put it on there. This is all I'm using, I'll list it below as well, but just duct tape window seal. And you can see it's about double the thickness, but I'm just gonna cut it down the middle and make a couple pieces to fit, uh, to go around that and outline it. I don't think it really matters, I really don't, but I don't want any kind of rattling that may come if I don't put it there. I really think it's more of an anti-rattle. Also guys, um, I may put a few pieces on the bottom of this where the old pieces have fallen off. It like. I don't know that it's necessary, but like I said, I don't want any noise. You can see I've got it all the way around now. Looks pretty good. You don't see it anyway. So let's grab our window trim piece and see if we can get it lined up. I really want to put it in like we brought it out from the top. Let's hope that we can do that. Remember we have to hook up our washer on the side over here. I think I've got it. It doesn't work anyway, which is another a project for another day. laid in there a little easier than it did before now we got that I also cleaned off all these little clips you can see this uh, stuff all over my hands making my hands all greasy we're gonna put our clips in place and guys I did end up wiping this down a little bit I know I said I wasn't going to but it just had so much on it for me doing what I did that I, I went ahead and wiped some down And then even though our screws don't line up, well, or the tabs are broken on the corners, at least this one on the driver's side is, I'm gonna go ahead and put them in place. Remember the two 10, or T10s that go in the right and the left. We'll go ahead and get those in place, which I gotta shut the hood to do that. So I'll do that. And then I think we'll be able to shut, well, I don't know. I'm gonna go put those in real quick and then we'll come back and get the other pieces in place. Well, I ended up putting a washer under this side. And it, you know, if you yanked on it a bunch, I think it'd probably come loose, but it's in place now. Let's, I'm trying to keep all the oily and greasy stuff off the windshield wiper blades, because if you guys have ever had that, it's miserable. See if we can snap these back in place with the hood up. Yeah, it fits good. And then remember our clip from the middle. That's good. at least since I can't find a Cadillac one to do the same mod as we did on the truck to delete the antenna. We're just going to put this one back in for now. I may find one at a salvage yard or something eventually. One of the biggest benefits here, those little rubber pieces that fold up with the hood, man, they were, they were really weathered. It's looking good, guys. All right, let me go grab, I'm gonna clean off my hands, see how oily they are? I'm gonna clean off my hands and we're gonna attempt to assemble the wiper blades and get them on. As far as the wiper arms go, this guy, you see that it has this extra windshield wiper um, squirter. There's two on the driver's side, or at least there should be. There is no wrong blade, guys. I chose to go with these, these are Trico's. I just like this design because it just doesn't get all weird and 
Um, the old ones that were on it, you know, had the multiple wipes. Uh, I just didn't like that, but it's a J hook style. So literally put it on there. There should be a clip to maintain it. If not, it should see how it's seated. Not a whole lot to it. Now, this is the important part. There is a line or there should be a line on your window. That line on both sides represents where the bottom of the light on the, of the wiper should be. So the wiper needs to be touching the bottom of that line so everything is lined up correctly. What we're going to do is we're going to attempt to not scratch this. I spent all this time painting on it, you know. See if we can get this thing in here. Get the wiper blade to the bottom and kind of press it on. And then we need to hook up our little nozzle here. And I think that looks pretty good. These wipers set a little bit differently because they're thicker. Um, so I'm going by looking up underneath and being able to see where the bottom of the blade is. And I'm trying to keep it somewhat close to the, uh, the line on the window as well. So it doesn't look weird. Man, that looks so much nicer now that it's painted. Let's grab our 13 and I'm going to get the other one on before I tighten it. Go ahead and thread this on, but Inevitably, I'm going to drop that. Watch, guys. Should have brought all this stuff over to the other side, or over here, so I could put it on without you guys having to wait on me. Same situation here. I'm just really, I don't want to scratch it. This one goes under, and these move when I cleaned it. Little fittings for your lines. I think you can move it a little bit without moving the assembly because it's not tightened. But before I actually commit to tightening them, I want to take a look and make sure it looks right from up here. That looks pretty good. I'm going to go with that. So let's get our 13. I'm, I'm going to snug those things down. You're going to have to hold the arm while we're tightening. Otherwise, it's going to want to swing up. So I'm going to tighten them real quick and then we'll move on to the antenna. We're getting close. One other thing I forgot to tell you is once you get them tightened, we need to put our little beauty caps on, I'd call them. They just snap on. Looking pretty nice. Now, let's take our light off and go over to the antenna here. You can see what I've done is I've taken the plastic off. And the reason why is I was trying to see, it comes with two of these and like four of these. And I was trying to get the size that I wanted because it's universal. It fits like multiple things. Normally, like on the green or on the gray truck, I use a standoff, one of these black standoffs, but I can't find one that I like the fitment of. It just seems to be forcing its way on. So I'm going to try just the antenna and it seems to thread on really well. Uh, the downside is you're going to have to do this with this plastic off. There's just no way to get around that because it's so far down in there. You can't get your wrench down in the hole to tighten it up. The other thing is it is an eight millimeter and we just need to get it snug. We don't have to get crazy tightening it. Now we can put our piece of plastic back on, which we should be able to do with the hood down. Actually, let me snug it up a little bit more. I'm, I'm used to uh, stopping filming, like tightening stuff and then turning the camera back on. So that should be good. Let's grab our piece and get it back in place. I 
There we go. I think it's in. Yep. That definitely looks way cleaner. We are now all together, all finished up. Man, does it look so much nicer. Um, the short antenna always makes things look nice. You don't have that big antenna. Obviously guys, I needed a new piece of glass. So I really, that kind of made me do this quicker. I was, I was planning on doing this, but I wasn't planning on doing it right now. But where the glass was cracked um, was right in my line of sight. It came like right off here and it would catch sunlight. It would catch like oncoming cars lights at night and it would almost blind you. I mean, it was terrible and it kind of messed with you because you were kind of looking above it and below it. It was like right in the middle and it just, it made me crazy. So I don't know what you guys pay for glass around where you're at. I paid $210 to have this installed and uh, I did, you know, take some of the hard work out because he didn't have to remove like the wipers and the, and the uh, cow piece here. But all in all, I think that's a pretty normal price. I priced it through SafeLight as well. They're a little higher and they all use aftermarket glass. There's just no factory GM glass left. And that piece that was in it was a GM piece of glass. So it's, you know, it stood its test of time, that's for sure. But all in all, I'm really happy. You know, the wipers look so much nicer without all the paint coming off the top of them. I just used Rust-Oleum, guys. Like I said, I'll list all this stuff in the description down below. I have like next to no money in this whole deal. I mean, the glass obviously, but I'm, the windshield wipers, were like 20 some dollars and I'll list those below. And the antenna was I think 10 or 15. And I do get a lot of questions when I do these short antennas on these cars, you know, how's the reception? Is it, you know, are you getting the same amount? Well, I don't listen to a ton of radio when I have an aftermarket radio, because I normally use my phone. But right now, since this has a stock radio in it, I am listening to the radio and I can get stations about 50 miles away. This is an eight inch antenna. They do make, you know, a 15 or a, um, they make even shorter ones. I don't like the ones that look like bullets or or anodized. I just like this stock kind of cleaned up look. So, and then on my other truck, like the green truck up there, remember I did the Cadillac one where we moved in a Defender and that, that does look way nicer, but I couldn't find one. So either way, really happy with the results of this, this stuff. This chemical guy stuff seems to last guys. The Trans Am, I had washed it a couple times and didn't have any issues with it coming off. Now I did leave this a little shinier. Hopefully the camera can pick that up uh, just because I didn't want, I, there's those certain areas that I thought may, may um, show back up, but we'll just have to see after I wash it a couple times what it looks like. But I will tell you guys that um, I did go over right here on the side a little bit. So I may show you guys a video. Let me know if you want to see a video of me doing the side skirts. I'm not taking those off. I know a couple people have suggested that but doing that and the bumper trim, but you can see where I just smeared a little bit of that stuff on there. I did that actually before I went and got the glass. So that's been almost a week and um, you can see it's dirty, but it, it's held up. So I think I really need to do the sides. Darkening up trim, like painting inner fender wells and stuff like that, guys, makes that vehicle look so much cleaner. It's just, it looks like it's been really well cared for, uh, not out in the sun a bunch. So like I said, it wasn't something that I wanted to do right now, but because the glass was so bad, I just thought, well, I'm going to have it off. Let's do it. Other thing, the glass guy hit me up and asked me about this. I don't know if you guys can see this, but there is a screw sticking through the top of the dash. And there's another one there and three more on their way through. And you can see a little spot there where one's coming through. He asked me about that and I don't know if the people that had this before, I know the guy told me he would, he had replaced um, the sensors in the dash, you know, they'll start to click. I can't even think of the name of them right now, but they control the AC like side to side. And um, I don't know if maybe when he was putting it back together, it didn't stick and he like ran some screws up. I don't know how he would have got to this area to do that. Or if he just uh, pushed it down too hard and they poked through, I don't really know what's going on there. So we may, look into that a little down the road but he, the glass guy did ask me about like what's going on there so i have no idea i do have another one of these guys that's actually in good shape not cracked but it's got the normal peeling like over there by the glove box but either way let me know if you guys uh, like this i i think it's worth it guys if you want to spend a little bit of time if you don't have a steam cleaner like i did it is going to suck to clean those uh pieces out those pieces of mesh especially if your vehicle is set under a tree but i think like i said stuff like this I, for one, I could see the top of those wipers while I was driving. It made me nuts, but it just makes things look so much cleaner. But a couple other things that I noticed, um, not really sure where this water came from. It is water. I don't think I drove this thing in the rain and brought it in here wet, but I may have. 
So a little concerned about that. The puddle on the other side, that is actually from the wiper, um, so the windshield wiper fluid. I'm assuming it has a hole in it. I've never got a low on the dash, but it's definitely got a hole and it doesn't work. So we may have to look into that later as well. But either way, like I said, I am happy with it. And uh, let me know if you guys think, oh, one other thing. I'm thinking about taking the grill out, the billet grill. I'm kind of not liking it as much as I thought I would at first. I'm either gonna take it out completely, put the original emblem back in, or I'm gonna take it out, paint it black and put it back in. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But if you did like this video, guys, like always, please smash that thumbs up button. If you are not subscribed, go down there, hit the subscribe button. Of course, ring that bell icon that notifies you every time we drop a new video. And stay tuned to see what we work on next.